Hello everyone, today we will be looking at the Glowtrend M.2 NVMe to PCIe 1X adapter. This is a pretty cool adapter where if you have an extra NVMe stick laying around like I do, you and you have no NVMe slots on your motherboard, you could uh, get a PCIe adapter. They have 1X versions and 4X. Um, the computer I'm building is part of a, a Linux cluster and I only have a 1X slot available. I will show you guys in a few minutes here. And uh, I just need to use the 1X slot as an extra storage for my frigate um, NVR that I'm using. So, but we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you guys that later. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look at the product. Um, it comes in a box here, it's just a brown box, just says Glowtrend on it. And it's made in China and it's just the SKU number. I'll put the link to the product below I got on an Amazon, but let's go ahead and take a look at what you get inside. And then I'll show you guys uh, the installation procedure and how everything works. So let's open it up here. Upon opening, you get this little card here. So this is the picture of the card and the part number. It is a 1X because it uses a 1X adapter. Uh, they do have a, a, a 4X one, which I will link below as well. Um, so keep that in mind. For me, like I said, I don't need the speed. I just need the space. It comes with a heat sink in here, in the bag. I won't be using this, but it does have a, I'll take it, I'll, I'll open it up for you guys here. So you can put a heat sink on it if you like. It comes with four screws. Let's see, one, two, Three, looks like it gives, they give you an extra one to the case, no? Yeah, extra one, there's five. So here's a little bracket for it, and pretty much you, this is the thermal pad. You would stick this onto the NVMe chip as so, and then this is kind of like the caddy for it, and then you would put the heat sink on top of that, and then mount the screws on the side. I won't be using this, um, I don't think it will run that hot since it's 1X. So you get that here. If you guys want to use that, that is an option. And so that comes in this little bag here and there's a little instructions on how you use it here. And then you get a bracket. So low profile bracket, which I do need. I will show you guys why. You get screws for the, um, for the brackets looks like there's two types here and then you have it does come with the tool too which is pretty cool and this is the actual card here so it has it with a regular bracket on here and you could unscrew two screws here to put the card in but nvme pretty much sits on there there's a little set screw that you would put it down so nothing too fancy this is the card so right now I'm gonna go ahead and um, install the NVMe on here, and then I'm gonna install the bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the bracket off first, and I'm kind of glad that they give you a tool so you don't have to go looking for one. I'm just gonna fast forward this part here. So as you can see, that's the set screw and everything on it. So that's the NVMe. This isn't a big NVMe, it's only 512 gigabytes, but I'm just using it as extra storage for my CC TV. So I don't really need that much space on it. And then I'm going to use this low profile bracket on it. So I'm gonna put that on here. Fast forwarding again. Card's pretty much good to go. This is what it looks like with a mini bracket and I'm pretty much good to go there. So the reason why I'm using the bracket is, so I'm actually putting it in this HP computer that I got on eBay. It's part of my uh, uh, three node cluster, but I took one offline so I could show you guys. So I'm gonna open it up. So I'm gonna reserve this slot here. I could get a, uh, I could get, could have got a four X, but this card, this slot is gonna be reserved here for another network card. I'm gonna put in a future. So I am only since there's only two slots, I'm just gonna use this one here, which is the one X one. And like I said, I don't need the speed. I just need the space for it to record and store things on here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take this here. And then I'm just going to pop it in here. 
And this case is screwless design, so I don't need to use any of the screws. And I pretty much just close up and I'm done. So that is how it's installed in this small form factor case. And this is a ninth gen Core i7, and this is a HP uh, Pro desk here, as you can see. <clears throat> so that's pretty much um, that's pretty much it here. So this is what it looks like on my other computer on the cluster that I installed the same NVMe um, PCI card. But and as you can see, there's actually a little red light on it when it's on. The computer's on right now, and this says NVMe in the back. Pretty cool. It just says NVMe, and it actually blinks when there's a uh, when there's um, uh, when it's being read or right. So it's a really bright red light. So yeah, it says NVMe. Just want to show you the guys. And this is what the uh, one of my computers look like with the extra network interface cards. This is this uh, gig 10 gig GB card with two interfaces on it, uh, as you can see here. And it actually gets pretty hot. So I'm gonna try to see if I could run PFSense on this or or some other uh, open source router routing program. But yeah, just want to show you guys that little NVMe light there. Pretty cool. Um, what we need to do next is I'm just going to um, pop this on for now to keep stuff from falling in. And I'm going to power it on. Fast forward it again. So I have it powered on right now. And if you go to my main monitor here looks like it already saw it. so this is the workstation that i am working on here and if you go to discs um let's see here it looks like you see it right here it does see the disc here so i actually need to wipe the disc because it looks like there's some stuff on here so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and hit wipe disk and this is pretty much going to kill the partition so you want to make sure you get the right one because i know that my other one was in uh, was a samsung nvme which is already in the system and this is a uh um a sata ssd so make sure that you format the right one you don't want to format the one that has your boot partition and i know that this is ntfs um, i'm using a different partition uh on my uh proxmox here so i'm gonna Hit wipe disk and says, are you sure? So right now it's wiping everything. And yeah, it sees the disk. So now that I'm done, I'm gonna initialize it. And that's it. I'm pretty much good to go. So um, yeah, so that's what I'm using it for. So basically I have a cluster here and I'm gonna, I bought uh, two more. So I'm gonna do the same for this guy and this guy so that um, I could set up um, um, a high availability and replication um, for my CCTV, which I have it already running in here, and it's just gonna copy it to all three um, nodes. So that's what I'm doing. This is kind of like my home lab that I've been playing around with. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So if you have, if you have a 1X, uh, uh, if you have a 1X PC, uh, I, uh slot you could get this guy and it's pretty good um i think um if you have an extra nvme you could just turn that one x slot into um a hard drive another hard drive space and i believe with the pcie um nvme i think it's still a little bit faster than having just a regular sata um um a sata ssd so um the speed on here is not too bad from my comparison what i saw online but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the uh, unboxing of the uh, Glowtrend um, PAO9X1, which is already in this computer, already seen, already up and running. And yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. So um, if you like the video, you guys know what to do. Um, and like always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out till next time. Oh, 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 oh,